Hello Marvel Legends and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour and guess what? I have a knife, which means I got a box! Which means we got some new Marvel Legends figures, like brand new, hot off the press. If you keep up with the what's what, you know what's gonna be in here. So let's uh, split, I, 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 I had a little brain fart there. Split, that sounded weird. Slice was the word I was trying to think of. Let's slice this open and, oh, there goes one. There goes the box and we have Blurrovision. Oh yeah, it's a double Spidey Fiesta. Don't know, what are my words? Are, words are real hard today. Yes, it's the two new retro Spideys. One that's highly anticipated, and another one which is the other. Uh, so let's see what we make of them, shall we? Um, I'm going to put Spider-Man back because I liked the fact that I had Spidey here and. Uh, someone kindly suggested, like, hey, if you're having trouble with the figures on the ludicrously expensive Spinatron 5000, why don't you just use the stands? <laughs> because my figures are not stand-proof, because I am in their proximity. Therefore, it's going to happen. Right, but first of all, let's take a look at these two fellas here. So, I will slice the packaging, and not my hands. And let's take a look at the one that I'm least excited about first and see if he can win me over. Because of course we have Negative Zone Spider-Man. And let me get all my puns out right away. I'm gonna try not to be too negative about him. I'm sure it's not just black and white. Negative, I haven't got any more negative puns out, was it? It was just the two. So yeah, here we go. And already, it's always the case. Straight, like when you see the fi when you have the figure in hand already, it looks so much better than what you know you see on your on your monitors. I was gonna say on TV, but who who watches things? It, it's on computer uh, or your phone. Already, he looks he looks better. He looks so much better already. I was expecting. Well, he is. He is just a repainted pizza Spider Man. But I don't know. Maybe it's because of the black and white. It's so bold. It looks really good. Plus, like the the pizza looks delicious. Like it, look, it looks like a, like an Oreo chocolate pizza or something. So let's get this guy out of the packaging. I'll fast forward this. Okay, he's out of the packaging. So let's. Well, the packaging is sliced. Let's get him out. Whoa. Okay. All the <laughs> all the extra hands have fallen out. So I'll throw away this thing. And yeah, oh, here we go. They conveniently landed right on my lap. So we have the wall crawling hands. When I first started collecting, I didn't really see these as wall crawling. I thought they were just like, oh, type hands, which I actually really like. I always pose Spider-Man like he's like, whoa, danger. I think that works really well. Well, pop out the pizza. I thought this, this pizza could kind of go with the uh, symbiote back in black Deadpool. That's kind of fun, because then he like, the symbiote is on the pizza. It works. And let's get that plastic crack. That's quite, that's quite tough. Hang on. This doesn't normally happen to me. There we go. Whew, that was doubly satisfying. And here is negative Spider-Man out of the packaging. And I gotta admit, you, you know what? When this figure was first announced, when it first popped up online, I, like, I actually commented on the little Facebook thread Congratulations, Hasbro! You finally made a figure of Spider-Man that I don't want. And then he went up for pre-order, and I was the first guy there. Oh, please, please send me negative Spider-Man! And now that I've got him, he's better than I expected. Okay. So here we go with negative Spider-Man. And again, I think this view might work pretty well to kind of just show off the figure itself. And you can see, can, can you agree, like, why I'm kind of turning a corner on this already? In, in the pictures, it's just like, oh, it's just, you know, pizza Spider-Man, but more boring. But actually, when you have these, these beautiful, clean, clear, black and white lines up close, I just think it works. It just, it, it's, it's striking. And also the, the head, it, it, it's still, this is the best Spider-Man head sculpt I think we, we have. I, I love the, 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 the slightly raised eyes and just a lot, of, a lot of work and care goes into this. I can't, well, I say that, I mean, not that much work and care. It is still just a repaint. But you know the, the 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 person who programmed the um, machines to spray paint this the way they did. Oh, mwah, beautiful. 
But I, I, I can't remember the Negative Zone story very well. I mean, I read it, but we're talking like 25 years ago. Whoa, again, so old. But yeah, so he goes into the negative zone and I thought that, uh, you know, this was just what his costume looked like in the negative zone. But then the blurb on the back of his box says that this is like a special suit that absorbs negative energy and can like blend into shadows and stuff. And that explains how he used it to become Dusk. So I guess it did have special properties. It wasn't just his regular suit. So there is that. But, you know, all that being said, I like this figure way more than I was expecting. I was looking forward to it because I was just looking forward to the dopamine hit of a new figure, you know? Don't, don't we all? That's why we collect these. But actually, this, this figure in hand, I really like him. He's gonna look great on the 90s shelf. He's gonna look great uh, probably in my sort of, yeah, it'll be my post-Clone Saga uh, shelf, which is a, a small bit of time, but it's getting filled up with a lot of characters and this guy's gonna be one of them, yeah. I'm really happy with this. Normal, but either way, he wore it for a bit during Identity Crisis when he had to adopt a new identity because Spider-Man was wanted for murder. Like, again, he's always wanted for murder one time or another. Uh, and then another uh, a girl takes it and she becomes Dusk, which was the character identity that, that, that he took. And then they formed Slingers. Not Peter, but the girl who took the costume. I'm, I'm relaying the story awfully. But what I will, will relay is the story of how greedy Marvel were in the late 90s because they released... Slingers as uh, like an ongoing team book and the first issue had four different versions Each one had the same beginning and the same ending But they had a different middle for each one of the four characters So basically Marvel were just getting you to buy the same comic four times with like five extra pages in each one It's like Marvel This is why you're bankrupt this is why, in 30 years' time, you're going to be going, Oh, please, can we use Spider-Man in our movie, please? Because you, you, you're done effed up by doing stupid stuff like, like that. That's the avarice of greed. That's, that, that's what happens when, you know, in the early 90s, they were like, Oh, my God, we can just print money with these McFarlane comics. And then McFarlane's like, oh, All right, boys, I'm off now. And they're like, Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Quick, <laughs> print more holofoil covers. And that was the 90s. But yeah, look, look at look at this guy. This is good. I'm digging this. I really like the the boldness. He looks he looks bright and bold. I'm gonna take Rhino off the Spinatron 5000, and I'm gonna place him on here next to regular Spidey. Oh, if 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 he'll he'll stand. Hang on, I gotta I gotta flatten his feet a little bit. There we go. And oh, I tell you what, the the stiff joints on the figure are just so satisfying to get that that little bump bump. That's really, really nice. But yeah, look at him spinning around there. Oh, you've won me over. That's that's pretty good. It's not like amazing because uh, it is. It's just a repaint. It's just a repaint. And I've got this recency bias. Obviously, I've just cracked him open, but I I dig him. In fact, I'm gonna give this figure a sub rating of. I, I'm adequate. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Not bad, you know. That's. That's way, it's really satisfying looking at him. He's just, the bright, bold, clean lines. That's surprisingly good. He's gonna look really good on the 90s shelf. Speaking of the 90s shelf, here we have the one I was really looking forward to. Cyborg Spider-Man. This, this is one that, again, he's kind of a, a lot of reuse, but also, again, just holding him in hand, he looks bigger. He looks bigger than I was kind of expecting, and that's that's gonna have a lot going for it. So let's crack him open, and here he is out of the packaging and in his beautiful plastic prison. So let's get that plastic crack. Ah, so satisfying. And here is Cyborg Spider-Man out of the packaging, and already, yep, I like this guy a lot. I, I like him a lot. He's, he's so different looking and that is, that is really cool. Okay, so first of all, it's the, um, is, is this the, 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 the vintage body? I'm sure it must be. Although it's got the, um, I'll, I'll have to, I can't, uh, vintage Spider-Man is all the way over there. I, I, I'll, I'll have a look later. But, so I'm not sure which body this is. Is this the, the Sunfire body? Either way, it, it's a bigger, beefier body than uh, Pizza Spider-Man. I'm sure, I, I know you guys, you, you, you're looking at the screen going, dude, it's this, it's that, that body. You know it is, dumbass. I know, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, 
he he looks like he kind of you know dipped himself in glue and just rolled through a spare parts kind of bin. But that's the whole point. It's supposed to be like a hodgepodge kind of cyborg Spider Man. Um, for those of you not in the know, there might be a couple. I don't know. Uh, yeah, cyborg Spider Man appeared in uh, the mid nineties. Eric Larson, writer artist, during a Sinister Six uh, sort of uh, <laughs> a Sinister Six reunion tour. There was a storyline. Spider Man gets uh, a, a bit messed up. Uh, the character Solo, who we need a figure of. Uh, Solo shoots Spider-Man because Mysterio's made him think that he's Dr. Octopus and Spider-Man gets rescued by a cyborg guy who takes him back to the cyborg making people and they patch him up so this arm isn't this is just uh, his regular arm with like a robotic cast over it and then he's got the the cyborg eye which obviously you can just pull off uh, but yeah so he wakes up and he's like holy moly I'm all cyborgy and then he goes back to Mary Jane and she's like dude you're all cyborgy and we get some nice Mary Jane cheesecake art because why not? Although actually, Eric Larson's like his women's faces kind of look sort of grotesque. Uh, but yeah, boobs, are boobs. So what are you gonna do? Like, don't hate me. I'm a red blooded male. It's all good. So here is Cyborg Spider Man. I was like, what was I talking about? Yeah, Cyborg Spider Man. So here is a slightly different view of myself and Cyborg Spider Man. I thought I would change up from the normal sitting behind the desk kind of motif because I thought maybe this would give a much clearer idea of what the figure looks like. And to be honest, like you know, there are other places that do clearer sort of camera shots and stuff, but I wanna kind of get that happy medium where you know you can get me just ranting on like a lunatic, but also actually get some decent sort of figure comparison images as well, or not, the, not so much comparison, but just be able to see what I'm talking about up close a bit better. So even, even then, I don't think my camera's gonna do justice to the actual face details here. But there is a, a stitch, lines of stitches going over his mask which look nice up close, but you know, you are never, ever, ever gonna see them when, when he's on the shelf. But still, a as a figure, like, you know, from here, he's cool, he's different. You know, if you're not that familiar with Spider-Man or his 60-odd years of history, you're gonna see this and be like, oh, when, what happened to Spider-Man to get him in this state? And that's kind of cool. I, I love cyborgs. I, I just think like sort of the concept is so cool and I would love to see a proper like cyborg Spider-Man character. You know, that's why I love Flipside in 2099. Uh, I think cyborg evil do doppelgangers are really cool. So I'd love to see a proper cyborg Spider-Man, but this is a, a fun kind of comparison. And again, <laughs> excuse me. Again, this is also giving us an idea of, of what a 90s Spider-Man would, would look like. I get the feeling, I got a feeling that we might get this redone without all his cyborg accessories as just a 90s Spider-Man, which I would be down with. You know, he's got the big 90s eye there. He's got the larger kind of spider on the back. I would absolutely buy this just plain as a 90s Spider-Man, especially if he came with like another 90s Peter head, that, that that would be great without awful looking glasses and that retro kind of thing. But no, this is really a fun, fun figure. Uh, a lot of people who have got this figure have like given a wash to this arm to bring out the details more. Cause it, it is, they, they went to the effort of, you know, actually sculpting more uh, details around the bicep and stuff. So it's got a lot going on there. Also, you know, typical with the Hasbro, you know, I'm not knocking Hasbro, but you know, the, the, the belt, there's no extra shading or detail or anything. It's just very, very plain in color. So really, I feel like the only downside here is that he's a little bit too, uh, too clean. You know, he, especially with Eric Larson's pencils, when Eric Larson drew him, he was really grubbied up, <laughs> you know, lots of scratchy pencils. And this, this feels a little bit too clean plastic out of the, out of the package. So he, he's good. Uh, well, he yeah, actually, he's, he's better than good. I, I really like the figure, but just, you know, I, I feel like more detail, more Toy Biz style detail would have really lent itself to this kind of figure. He's a bit too clean, but what we do have here is very, very nice, very bright and yeah, I'm a fan. And of course, if we have Cyborg Spider-Man, we gotta see what he looks like next to Deathlock as well. These two guys recreating, uh, I think I've got him the wrong way around maybe. Uh, <laughs> either way, it's something like, like that. The classic Spider-Man front cover with, with, with these two on there, which I remember seeing in the back issue bins in my comic shop when I was a, a kid and being like, whoa, what, how, did, how did we get here? And then seeing like, oh, two pounds 50? I'm not buying that. But <laughs> this, is, this is how they look together, our two cyborgs, and of course how they will be displayed on the shelf. That's, that's pretty badass. That's 
that's really fun. I might play around with this kind of view more for some of the reviews. I think that, that works pretty well. But yeah, there we go. Cyborg Spider-Man and the a quintessential Marvel Cyborg Deathlock. They look they look pretty good together. I oh, I love characters that pair up. This is this is great. And considering how long ago this guy came out, it's a long time in coming. But yeah, I'm not gonna kind of wax lyrical for too long, but just to say that this is this is a good figure. I kind of wish that he had the oh, hands. But since I think he is based on, on the vintage Spider-Man, he just has the thwip hands and he has uh, the fisted hands. So, I don't know, I might have him like, uh, like, like the two fisted hands together. Because um, I'm, just, I'm still not a fan of the thwipping hands. Um, although he does come with a piece of web as well. Which I still stand by my you know, assessment that it's the most useless accessory Hasbro have done. Because, yeah. You know, look at... I can't even get it over his fingers. It's just... Yeah. And then, then there he is. Isn't he majestic? Does whatever a spider can, right, folks? Ah, pff, Pointless. Pointless accessory. And Hasbro will be like, you don't say we don't give you accessories. We gave you the web. <laughs> Thanks. Anywho. I like him. I like him a lot. This is this been a good double. I, I'm more... I prefer this guy, but I'm more surprised by negative Spider-Man. So this has overall been a really, a really good haul in that regard. So I'm going to love displaying this guy next to uh, Deathlock. Because uh, it wasn't, um, contrary to my assumption, I thought, I thought it was Deathlock who made him up like this. No, it was a different sort of cyborg factory people. I think they're associated with Deathlock. I haven't read the story for a long time. But like, yeah, once he gets decked out like this, then, then he, he teams up with Deathlock. And eventually he just pulls the cyborg stuff off and the metal arm gets shattered and it's his normal arm underneath and we're all gravy. But yeah, I, absolutely. I give this figure a sub rating of... Oh! And that's my Cyborg Spider-Man. And I'm happy with this. This was a cool little unboxing. I've been anticipating this for a while. I've been looking forward to these guys because there's like some new stuff on the horizon, but it's not coming out for a while. These might be, gosh, these might be the last figures of the year. I don't think we're going to get the Spider-Verse uh, Stiltman wave before the end of the year. Actually, geez, it's almost, <laughs> we've only got like two weeks left. No, we're definitely not going to get that before January, I don't think. So... These guys, I think, are the last brand new Marvel Legends of 2020. So there they go. Not a bad little way to finish the year. You know, nothing amazingly new, but two fun additions to the Spider-Man shelf. So I'm very pleased with that. That was a little cup of coffee in the big time unboxing, folks. Until next time, keep displaying model behavior. But before then, check out the Data Blast coming up after this. A whole bunch of insanely awesome Instagram, what do I always say, uh... Customs, photography, cosplay, artwork, you name it. If I find it on Instagram and it looks badass, then I'm going to include it at the end. So until next time, guys, keep displaying model behavior.